created the Geminoid DK in 2011. So he's uh, one and a half years old now. Uh, Geminoid means twin like. And so he is like a twin. Uh, and that is also the, uh, the, the tradition of uh, research done in Japan. So the Geminoid means this kind of robot and DK means Denmark. We are interested in the reactions to the android. And we get much stronger reactions when he looks like someone who's also there. So we could have chosen to have a typical Danish face. Uh, but then we wouldn't get the strong reaction we get from having the likeness to me. The first uh, Geminoid in Japan was built in 2005. And the second one was built in 2010. It was a female version, my sister, my half-sister. Uh, and then he is number three, the third Geminoid in the world. But the only one outside Japan. In a sense it is uh, just a machine. Um, what you see here is the moving parts, is small uh, actuators or electronic muscles that can imitate facial expressions of a human being. This particular robot is, is really for research and we use him to understand how people interact with androids, why is this difficult, what does it take to make it happen. In order to do that we place him in many different situations. So we have placed him in, uh, in uh, closed uh, uh, shops. I have used him as a teacher in front of my students. The muscles are driven by air, air pressure, and they are controlled by the computer. But this is just an ordinary laptop, so you don't need very big complicated machines for this. I think in the future there will be many robots. Some will have faces like this, some will have uh, cartoonish faces, but what we need is to understand which kind of robot should go where. And by taking this robot to many different situations, we are learning about the impact of androids from many different angles. We now know that children and grown-ups react in very different ways. Gender differences. Men and, and, and women re respond very differently to the android. For me, it's not about replacing human beings. <clears throat> For me, it's about understanding better. I don't want to replace teachers or caretakers or families, uh, but I want to have the robots as part of our lives. Technology is part of our life. You don't need a special background to understand that this could be, this could change the way we think about technology.